Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we will see how to create Postgres with RDS in AWS using Terraform. So in this video, we will walk through the steps of setting up a Postgres SQL RDS in AWS using Terraform. We will create Postgres SQL RDS in AWS using Terraform. We will also explore the process of creating an RDS instance using Terraform. So first we will see what is Terraform. Terraform is a tool that helps you manage your infrastructure by writing code instead of manually setting up servers and resources. You describe your infrastructure in a file using a language that Terraform understands. For example, this. With Terraform, you can declare what you want your infrastructure to look like, specifying resources and then configurations. Terraform then figures out how to make your infrastructure match that description. Then we'll see what is Amazon relationship with other servers. Amazon RDS is a service provided by Amazon Web Service that simplifies the process of setting up, operating, and scaling a relational database. It supports various popular relational database engines such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, Oracle, SQL Server, and MariaDB. You can choose the one that best fits your application requirements. Amazon RDS automatically backs up your databases along your Google Store to any in time within a retention period. This helps in data recovery and ensure data deployment. Amazon RDS for Postgres. Amazon RDS for Postgres is a fully managed service offered by Amazon Web Services that take care of administrative tasks in setting up and running databases. Postgres in AWS can be easily integrated with other AWS services like AWS Lambda, Amazon S3, and more enhancing. The overall functionality of your application. Now we'll see the prerequisites for this tutorial. Before starting this tutorial, you will need an Amazon Web Services AWS account. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free AWS account. Basic familiarity with AWS services, Visual Studio on your system, and hashing of Terraform extension. You can download it from the official Terraform website. Now we'll see how to create Postgres Expert. Now we'll see how to create PostgreSQL RDS in AWS using Terraform. So steps for the implementation of this project. So let's create the following organizational structure as shown below. For this, we'll create a folder Terraform demo db, and in that we'll create four files in our Terraform MariaD: variables.tf, terraform.tfparse, main.tf, and outputs.tf. So I'll explain what is variables.tf. In Terraform, the variable.tf file is used to declare and define variables that can be referenced in your Terraform configuration files. These variables act as parameters that allow you to customize your Terraform configuration, provide values dynamically. The variables.tf file is where you define the variables, the types, and in some cases, the default values. Using variables.tf file, it helps in making a using your Terraform configuration more modular and adaptable. By centralizing variable definitions, you can easily manage and update configuration values without having to modify multiple places in your code. So then, terraform.tf force. In Terraform, the terraform.tf file is used to store input variables and their values in a key value pair format. This file allows you to set values for our variables used in your Terraform configuration without hard coding them directly in the Terraform files. The name terraform.tf first is the default file name, but you can also use other file names and specify them with the var file option by running Terraform commands. This separation of variables values make it easier to manage and share configuration with different values for different environments. Main.tf in Terraform, main.tf is a default and conventional name for the main configuration file. This file is where to define the infrastructure resources and their configuration using ICP configuration language. Then we'll go to outputs.tf. In Terraform, the outputs.tf file is used to define outputs values that can be displayed after the execution of the Terraform configuration. This file allows you to expose specific information about the resources you have created or modified during the Terraform work. Outputs are useful for providing useful information or data to users or external systems. In the outputs.tf file, you define what are more output blocks. Each block specifies a named output and the value you want to expose. So we'll start. We'll create a variable 
.tf file in our Terraform DemoDB folder. So we'll enter the below code. We'll copy this code and paste it on VS Code. So after this, we'll create a terraform.tf first file in Terraform DemoDB folder. So we are defining the dynamic values for variables declared in variables.tf. We'll copy the code and we'll paste it in this. For the AWS console access ID, we'll log into our AWS account. We have to go to our AWS account. Then security credentials. And from here, we'll create access key. So our access key is created. We'll copy the access key and paste it in our code. And we'll copy the secret access key. Paste it. Yeah, and after this, we'll create a main.tf file in our Terraform demo demo folder. We'll copy the given code. You know, and paste it in VS. So after this, we'll create an output.tf file in Terraform DemoDB folder. Outputs the security group ID and RDS database instance endpoint to confirm that they are created. We'll copy the code. We'll paste it on Facebook. And after this, we'll initialize an upright Terraform configuration. For that, we'll open a terminal in the directory containing your main.tf file and run the following code. We open the new terminal. So we'll type the following command terraform init. Now we'll wait for two to three minutes for our terraform to get initiated. So Terraform has been successfully initialized. After this, we'll now use the next command that is Terraform plan. By running Terraform plan, you can get a detailed list of these three categories, additions, modifications, and deletions. It's a way for you to review and confirm that Terraform understands your intentions correctly. So once you are satisfied with the plan, you can proceed to apply those changes using Terraform Apply. This two-step process Terraform plan followed by Terraform Apply help prevent unintended or accidental changes to your infrastructure. It gives you a chance to review and approve the proposed changes before Terraform makes any modification to it. So we'll run the following command, Terraform Apply. Now we'll wait for five to six minutes and all the resources have been created. Wait for five to six minutes till all the resources have been created. Go to RDS console, click on the database on the left navigation panel. You can see RDS database and set So our instance is created successfully. So after this, we'll delete AWS RTS. We'll run the following command to destroy your resources. Terraform destroy.
will type as image to destroy. So in this video, we have demonstrated how to create post SQL RDS in database using Terraform and destroy it later not to incur charges. Thank you everyone. We'll see you in the next video.